It's uh, about 65 degrees today, so it's pretty warm. And it's not really toasty enough up here in the upstairs of the garage to run the air conditioner, but I think I might as well uh, start this up today. So, yeah, just clean the filter in it. So, there we go. Does click. So, here we go. He's a bit angry. Quite oh. little unit. 8,000 BTU, Quasarts. I'm gonna suck it in Quasar. We go to Panasonic. That's a sheet of product in Japan. I didn't even touch that. <laughs> Look at this from outside. I'm not gonna. Uh, I might fire up the Crossley. Try not to run two units at once. Here's the Quasarts and the Frigidaire. And all the way over there is the Air Temp. Actually sounds pretty good today. So I'd use this thing this summer. And go back upstairs. And I'll look at the Crossley. Probably fire up the Crossley next. It's actually I actually feel a bit toasty uh, being in a direct sunlight. It's gonna be warm tomorrow, but a lot of rain. So See how that goes. Nice and cold. Cold and sweaty. absolutely cold the air that's coming out of here it is so cold I did a bit of a run there so the coils are getting icy one of yours kind of like three coils going in one that's weird it's a bit of detritus in here that out of here There's some light coming in there How warm it is up here. So listen to how quiet that is. That is a quiet air conditioner. A lot quieter than my fetters. I'm gonna let this run for a bit. I'll probably put the front cover back on. We'll go fire up the air temp. I'm not the air temp the Crossley, and then we'll probably go inside and fire up like the frigid air and some of that stuff. I still need to finish insulating over there and insulating the ceiling before I actually trust using this without wasting a buttload of energy. Still, this room is a bit too big for 8K. You probably get a 12 or 10K or something like that, something large. You only draw so little energy out here, so 
and I'll put the front grill back on. theater unit next one's gonna be kind of nice because it has we have a reciprocating compressor okay I'll push between two buttons Of course, a, vehicle, a loud vehicle has to drive by and ruin everything. Crossley's fired up. Garage unit. 56k. 5.6k. I mean, 5600, whatever. Come say E. Dog goes barking, so of course I can't get the nice compressor noises. Go have a quick look again at the Quasarts. Buttload of wind today. Sounds kind of angry. And then that nice reciprocating compressor just echoing off of everything. Ooh. I'm not gonna fire up the Frigidaire. Not that exciting. Probably right, won't leave both of these running. Probably not a good idea. One upstairs I kind of feel like running. It's not cold. Ugh. It's not hot enough really down here to run this unit. of vibrations going on. I'm trying to get a piece of dust off. It just got went back into the filter. <laughs> um, do I have any other units down here? Yeah, I have the Frigidaire and I have the Keystone upstairs. And the uh, 8K Emerson. Buttons are what's... Bu buttons are what is... Bleh! Buttons are rattling. i turn this off. I'm gonna leave the run up, the one upstairs run, and I'm gonna go inside. I'm gonna do the air temp first. That's not a, not plugged in. It's actually somewhat toasty up here. Things are rattling like crazy, obviously. Have a quick listen from what it sounds like from the outside. I did actually use the air temp a bit throughout the winter. I've used the fan only function on it a lot. And then there was a few times where it got, got a bit toasty upstairs, so I did actually use it. Here's that. There's the Nordine. Don't know if I'll fire up the Nordine today. That might be a different video. Already in, getting kind of cold. Uh, while we're waiting for that to build head pressure, um, we'll come upstairs and fire up the frigid suck. I'm actually going to get fans out and do window fans a bit later, but for the time being we'll Fire up the frigid suck. Don't know if it's gonna kick the compressor on yet or not. No one really cares, this is just a stupid Queen compressor. Um yeah. Feel 
it's really nice. And then my 2002 GE is in storage. Um, it's just going to be here unless if I actually need an air conditioner. I think I shot bearings anyway. Now I genuinely have no idea if the, uh, com uh, if the compressor kicked on the fridge there yet. Here's the air temp. Nice and quiet. If you look over there, you can see the clay's arts. And the frigid suck. Doesn't appear to be running. I know if it's on energy saver or anything. <laughs> There's the Nordine, which I'll probably make a video of later. I can't tell if that unit's running or not. No, it is not running. I wonder if I. The breaker. No, I have not. It must have cycled off. Yeah, this unit up here must have cycled off. Hehehe. <laughs> I'm probably going to leave that running. It's a bit hot up here. I think this unit here cycled off on Energy Saver. Of course, that stupid beep gets annoying. This unit runs R410A. All the other units I have run R22. This thing is so noisy. I typically run it on low fan. I mean, on low, on the low fan setting. Once summer comes, sometimes uh, run that unit a bit to kind of keep up. Pretty good up here, to be honest. So yeah, air conditioner startups. I'm gonna turn this one off. Right at the 40, 40, eh, 14 minute mark. Vibrations just went away. I don't think I've used this one since December, actually. We had a really warm day in December, and that was the last time I, I ran this unit. Since then, this unit has not ran. actually pretty cool in here right now. This unit is perfect for this room despite it being a 4000 BTU, but it does cool off the room quite quickly. I might make some more videos of this unit uh, to come in the future, like an actual video just of this unit, but yeah. So air conditioner startups 2021. Yeah, I know it was a bit interesting that I did air conditioner startups before, uh, before fan season. Fan season will be a bit later. So thank you very much for watching and keep the breeze.